Welcome, this is Jai from Endless Motivation. What I want to talk to you guys about today is Stoicism, the ancient school of philosophy. And in specific, one Stoic philosopher named Seneca and his thoughts on how to live a happy life. Now, for those of you who don't know, Seneca was a Stoic philosopher during the Roman Empire. He was also the tutor to Nero and helped him rule the empire. He was considered a pretty wise individual at the time. But what makes him interesting to me is he has very interesting thoughts on things like happiness and anger and the shortness of life. And these are taken directly from his essay, which he wrote around the first century, called On the Happy Life. Now immediately, right off the bat, Seneca says, As humans, we all desire to live happily. But he says, our minds are blinded to a clear vision of just what it is that makes life happy. So, you know, how do we actually live happily and what makes life happy is the ultimate question here. So tip number one from Seneca to live a happy life is to actually know where you are going. Now, Seneca views the happy life as kind of a path. It's a path in life. And you can't actually follow that path unless you actually know where you're going, unless you know what that end goal is. And this doesn't just apply to happiness. This applies to all areas of life as well. Setting goals for yourself. You can't actually set goals for yourself unless you know what you want. So to Seneca, happiness is a path. And what you have to do is find the right path that leads to your happiness. So this leads to step number two, which is to find a guide. So the second tip on how to live a happy life is to find a guide in life. Find a guide on the path to happiness. Seneca says, you know, finding the right path is hard, but it's even harder to stay on that path. And it, when, even when you're on the path, it's really easy to wander. It's easy to get lost. And it's easy to go backwards. He says, you know, I, we, we wander aimlessly when we have no guide. So the quote on the bottom, let us therefore decide both upon the goal and upon the way and not fail to find some experienced guide who has explored the region towards which we are advancing. For the conditions of this journey are very different from those of most travel. And the interesting thing is this is very similar to what a lot of entrepreneurs say on how to be successful in life. You know, if you ask uh, any successful person on how to be successful, a lot of times they'll tell you one of the key components is to find a mentor. And the reason for this is because when you find a mentor, you're able to learn from their mistakes without actually having to go through the mistakes yourself. So the third tip on how to live a happy life and this is a very very big one for Seneca and that is to not follow the crowd to Seneca your happiness belongs entirely to you and it belongs to your mind so we shouldn't ever follow the crowd especially when it comes to finding the right path and he says a lot of times in our lives we get caught up in this idea of thinking like everyone else, thinking like a herd animal. And we have the belief that the, the best things in life for us are the things that are most popular because everyone else is doing it and because it seems good for everyone else that it's also good for us. And to Seneca, he is vehemently against this idea. This is a, a false belief. You know, he says, happiness is not up for debate. So he says, nothing, therefore, needs to be more emphasized than the warning that we should not, like sheep, follow the lead of the throng in front of us, traveling thus the way that all go and not the way that we ought to go. So he makes this distinction between the path that everyone else goes versus the path that you should go. You know, don't follow the path of others. Do do what you think is best for you. 
because only you know what's best for you because your happiness belongs to your mind and your mind is the only thing under your control. And ultimately, on a much deeper level, this is a very, very stoic ideal that your mind is ultimately the only thing that you can control in life. And we're going to talk a little bit about that later. But Seneca, when he when he's saying this, you know, don't follow the crowd, he imagines this giant kind of mass of people. Just imagine like a, a mass of herd animals, but all humans. And everyone is trying to step on each other's heads, and everyone's trying to get ahead of the other person and to end up being more successful. And he calls this the great crush of humanity. And the reason for this is because when everyone is stepping on each other's head in, the, in this great crush, if one person were to fall, Seneca says, they also, when they fall, they drag down others with them. And he says, we see this happening everywhere in life. Don't do something just because others are doing it. Do what you think is best always. And you will live a much more happy life because of that. And this also ties into the next tip which is to trust your judgment. So it's it's kind of ironic, you know, oftentimes we're, we're much more willing to trust the opinions of our neighbors than ourselves. And we oftentimes follow the examples of others instead of following our own judgments. And Seneca says that that is what leads to our destruction. So he says that what you have to do is Instead of following the examples of others, you have to free yourselves from the opinions of others. And only by doing that will we be made whole. And that's related to not following the crowd as well. Don't follow the crowd. And when you free yourself from the crowd, that's when you can start finding new levels of happiness and new paths that you never knew existed. Tip number five is to have a clear mind. Now, we, we have to remember that Seneca is still a Stoic. And part of what the Stoics believe is that there is a higher order to the universe, a, a natural order. And in order to live, we must live in harmony with this order. So to Seneca, the happy life is a life that's in harmony with its own nature. You have to get in touch with yourself and know who you really are and live in accordance with who you are. And when we say know yourself, it's not your external self. The Stoics aren't talking about you, know, you, your body. They're not talking about the stuff you own. They're not talking about your job or even what you do. But they're really talking about who you are on a deep level. Who are you really? Ask yourself that question and do what you have to do in order to really know yourself and to know your mind. Because to the Stoics, your mind is really the only thing that you have complete control over. And no one else can have control over your mind. You know, to other Stoics, they say, people may be able to touch your body, but they'll never be able to touch your mind or your soul or whatever you want to call it. And so one of the key secrets to living a happy life, Seneca thinks, is to have a sound mind that's in constant possession of its own sanity. And if you can do this, then as a result, you don't let others define you. Tip number six is to be youthful, but not carefree. So Seneca says, our minds must be courageous and energetic, yet at the same time ready for every emergency. He describes the man who lives the happy life, and he says he burns and shines like a flame, but he is not careless or reckless. He's also free from the anxiety of petty things, and he loves all aspects of life, but doesn't rely on them. And again, the reason why he loves all aspects of life and is free from the anxiety of petty things is because he has control over his mind, and that's the only thing he can control. And everything else all all other aspects of life those are external to you and you can't control them so you must be willing to love them but at the same time don't rely on them for your happiness 
because your happiness comes from your mind and that's something that only you have control over. And that's a very, very important idea in both Stoicism and Seneca's writings as well.